Hello guys, welcome to part 2 of this beginner polymodeling series. And so guys, in this series I'm going to try to keep things like in a way that you can understand it, no matter what program you're using, whether it's Max or Blender or Maya or Envil or XSI or anything else, Modo. So I'm just going to kind of explain the basic kind of uh, polymodeling concepts. I may be using a little bit of a 3ds Max exclusive, exclusive tools here, but for the most part I want to make sure you can understand basic polymodeling in any program. So, in this video, I'll talk about topology. Good topology, bad topology, what does it mean? So, if I create, let's say, a box right here, and then let's say go, I go ahead and create uh, two copies. Alright, so I got this, and then this one, I'll go ahead and uh, insert loops here. All right, and uh, let's make a, actually fourth one. Here I'll just test late. And here I'll apply a subdivide modifier. All right, so we have four boxes here and they all look the same, but what's different about them? Well, the topology is different. This box has very basic topology. This box has these edges running through it. This box has lots of edges running through it. And this box has lots of triangles. That's what topology is, guys. It's about what kind of vertices, edges, and faces you have going on here that define your surface topology. That's pretty much topology. But what is good and bad topology it really depends on what you're using it for, who you're working for, and things like that. So for example, if I create this plane here, and I will give it a, a gray object color, and I can begin to work on this. I'll, uh, you know, cut this in half, and I can begin to just kind of cut this like so. All right. Now we have what's known as bad topology. We have something known as an N-gon, which is a face. This is a single face that has more than four edges to it. So if a face or a polygon has three, we will call that a triangle. So this is a triangle. If it has, let's say four, like this one, it's known as a quad. But if it has more than, more than four, it's called an N-gon and usually it's bad topology. But what makes it bad? Well, what makes it bad is that if I try and, you know, usually I'll go ahead and apply symmetry and subdivide it. So what makes topology bad is that uh, this happens. It becomes very messy. And so when you have what's known as bad topology, you get shading errors. And uh, it doesn't really subdivide very well. It doesn't kind of smooth out very well. And if you're using, for example, particles, they may have problems with activating or you know, emanating out of the surfaces of these objects. So a lot of times, guys, that's why we have good topology and we fix things up. If you guys are enjoying this video, be sure to check out the description where I have links to a more advanced courses such as on sci-fi design, futuristic vehicles, furniture, and more comprehensive advanced courses. However, there are some situations where you might not even need to fix up the bad topology. And once again, you have to ask who you are and what you're doing this for. For example, if if you if you're working for yourself and you subdivide this and it, it looks good to you, then you can just keep using your method. If you are, for example, a 2D concept artist and you use 3D to kind of block out some complex shapes, and then you take this into you know Photoshop and you you know you get rid of any smoothing issues here, you paint over it, then you can have whatever kind of topology you want. However, if you work for a studio for a company, you pretty much have to follow their rules, their in-studio rules for good topology. If you look at, for example, this asset right here, I'm not sure where this is being used, but this is some sort of a Batman suit right here. You go to notice that all of this is pretty much quads, four-sided polygons with four edges. And so typically if you're working for a movie studio, or anything that includes the cinematics, you pretty much should be using this kind of all-quad topology. Now, it doesn't mean that 
you may not ever use triangles. There are situations where triangles are appropriate and acceptable. But for the most part, you'll be using quads. Four-sided polygons. And you'll be avoiding n-gons uh, for the most part. Alright. Now, of course, when you apply subdivide here, guys, it does actually turn all the n-gons into quads, but it's still not good topology for several reasons. Because remember, guys, to good topology isn't just about having all quads, it's about having them in the right place and having them in the right size. So right now, in this situation, we have no quads. It's just one big n-gon. But now, we have pretty much all quads, right? This, this polygon has four sides, and this one does as well. However, you're going to notice there's a problem, which is this right here. So even though technically we have one, two, three, four, this is still known as bad topology right here. One reason you want to have good topology if you're animating is that it allows the mesh to bend. Especially like with that suit model, there's going to be a lot of bending here. Now, a, a basic way to demonstrate that is to use the bend modifier. Alright, you can see it's bending, but because of what's known as bad topology, we have this bad result happening right here. So remember guys, it's not just about having all quads, it's about having them in the right setup. Alright, so if we were to make this into good topology, what would we do different? Well, it's very simple. I'll just go ahead. This is something that you learn the more you work, guys, is that you pretty much want to have... Um, even. You want the quads to be as even as you can. So like this, and then you may want to have like some more... Like so. And maybe like so. This is what's known as good topology. Because now when we uh, bend this... Unlike with the previous result where um, this was happening. Now, remember, we're using the same bend modifier, the same uh, modifier right here, except now we get these good smooth results as opposed to this. So even though this has all quads, it's still not very good. Whereas this is now a very good acceptable smooth result. So guys, this is one of the big reasons why you want to have good topology. It allows for very good subdivision. Oh, that's the triple smooth right here. It allows for good... Um, bending right here so definitely for organic characters you want to have good topology and uh, if i were to create let's say a plane right here and let's say i create a very basic uh, result all right just this right here and let's say i subdivide this you can see it looks nice and smooth because we have good topology here. Let's say I do something strange, I just remove this. We now have an end gone here. What happens? Well, you may not notice a huge difference, but you are noticing there's kind of a lump right here. And the worse topology you have, the more noticeable it becomes. You know, now... It's no longer, no longer a smooth result here. Now we're getting some lumpiness right here. And this becomes more noticeable. The more kind of details you have here. Another example, and I'll make a future video about how to deal with spheres. But this sphere has kind of good quads all around. Except at the top, where it has a bunch of triangles. And so, if you try and subdivide this sphere you're going to notice we kind of get this uh, deformation happening right here. You're noticing like a little ring of kind of pinched results right here. So definitely, you want to avoid things like this kind of triangle convergence. 
And then you want to avoid things that cause bad results like this. You know, if I get rid of these edges here, you're not noticing there's a very noticeable bad result right here. All right, guys, that's kind of the basics of topology and how you can fix it. Now, if you're working with a video game asset, typically what happens is that they, they get turned into triangles. So if you are creating a video game asset, it's okay to have triangles. Another thing to understand about topology is that typically we want to keep things as clean as possible. So for example, if I want this to subdivide, I could add loops here, and then loops there, and then loops right here. And when I apply Turbo Smooth, let's say 3, as you notice, subdivides just fine, and it goes from this to that. But if I have a whole bunch of edges here, they're not really doing anything. In other words, this one here keeps things very simple here, and we get this result. Here we get the exact same results, but because we have all these edges here, we are adding a lot of unnecessary topology here that serves no purpose. So you want to have topology that suits the purpose that you need. And things like curvature, the slavish and curvature will be taught in a future video. But now you have a basic understanding of topology and how to manage it. So typically, you would use things like the cut tool. You would cut, you would also remove, for example, uh, vertices and edges. And pretty much set up the topology in the way that you want. Now, there are multiple methods to get good topology. There's multiple like solutions. For example, I got this right here. I can also have topology go around like this. You know, here, you get this happening here. So, this could be good topology, this could be good topology. It depends, guys, on what you're aiming for. If it's going to be an organic character or a mechanical character, a mechanical object. If it's going to have particle effects, it's going to deform or animate and be rigged. And all these things go into account when you create the topology. You know, I can also do like this, for example. And then do that. So as you can see guys, here's another example. Went from this to that. So guys, for the most part, topology depends on if you're working by yourself or for others. If you're working for others, who you're working for, what are their standards? Are they like uh, just freelancers making random projects on YouTube? Are they a big movie studio, game studio? Are you making games or cinematic assets for films are you making you know props to be 3d printed all these things are taken into consideration when you think about good topology and bad topology and what you need thank you for watching and take care